and the Women at Risk International Foundation, WARIF, a non-governmental organization dedicated to preventing gender-based violence, has provided training to traditional birth attendants in Ibadan to serve as first responders in addressing cases of gender-based violence. Ajala Potts Johnson, the program manager of Women Against Rape International Foundation, emphasized the importance of victims of gender-based violence, speaking up and seeking assistance. The prevalence of domestic violence in Nigeria is a significant issue, impacting the social structure and causing suffering, especially among women and children. Alarming statistics from a 2019 survey by the National Bureau of Statistics revealed high rate of physical and emotional abuse amongst women. To combat this, the Warif Gatekeepers Project aims to empower traditional birth attendants to provide support and address gender-based violence in rural communities. Our program, I can say that we have created more awareness. Uh, people will say, ah, there has been, it's like there's a spike or there's an increase. The truth is that it has been happening in time past. People keep quiet because of social cultural norms, you know, survivor blaming and all of that. But with our program, people are now encouraged to speak out about it, seek help, seek um, you know, support. And it seems like it is actually like on the increase. But the truth is that because people are becoming more aware, and so it is actually stemming now because um, people are now um, have the understanding that, oh, there's a legal aspect to this thing. If I do this, I get this punitive measure from the law. I have a lot of cases at the family court that is being prosecuted right away. And uh, very soon, we begin to hear all this name and shaming, naming and shaming. We'll have our um, sex offenders register in place in Ohio State very soon. And uh, by the time, just like AKT, we start reading about that in, in the newspapers and on news. The main goal of this initiative is to reduce the occurrence of rape and other forms of violence in Nigerian communities by forming strong and long-lasting collaborations with key stakeholders. How can individuals who have experienced gender-based violence seek help and support? Understand that um, rape is never the fault of the survivor, but the fault of the perpetrator. And supporting women, preventing gender, um, gen sexual and gender-based violence is key in ensuring that women and girls attain full health status, which is their fundamental human right in our community. Say something when you see something. Learn how to speak up. And of course, yes, Nigerians or our society should be more sensitive to our little ones around us. Don't ever trust anybody. Don't trust any uncle. Don't trust any auntie. Don't entrust the custody of your children into the hands of a closed family friend because they are the first suspect of most times that perpetrate these evils around us. Close family friends are the ones that always um, do this. So the only thing I will tell them is that is keep watching. Boys to are uh, having, I mean, are facing issues of sexual offenses. So I will advise parents particularly women, to be friendly with their children, to be inquisitive about them, to know what is going uh, on around them, and to create more time. The Gatekeepers program ensures that all traditional birth attendants in designated regions receive proper education and preparation to address this issue. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.